witnessed in yesterday's Lok Sabha session that Rahul Gandhi and PM Modi exited after their speeches. But do speakers ever get a break and leave the session as well? It seems like even the speaker deserves a break, right? Speaking to the House on Monday, Birla announced that he had chosen the following individuals as members of the panels of chairpersons when he is not there. They are Jagdambika Pal BJP, PC Mohan BJP, Sandhya Ray BJP, Dilip Saikai BJP, Kumari Selja Congress, A Raja DMK, Dr. Kakoli Ghosh Dasta TMC, Krishna Prasad Tente TDP and Avadesh Prasad SP as members of the panel of chairpersons. As per Rule 9 of Rules and Procedure and Conduct of Business in Lok Sabha, at the commencement of the House or from time to time, as the case may be, the Speaker shall nominate from amongst the people from the panel of not more than 10 chairpersons, any one of whom may preside over the House in the absence of the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker, when so requested by the Speaker or in the absence of the Speaker by the Deputy Speaker. Now let's see who these chairpersons are. Jagdambika Pal, Indian politician Jagdambika Pal is a member of the Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP. In 1988, he served as Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister for a single day. He has been a member of the Lok Sabha from 2009. He worked as an Indian National Congress member at the party's representative in the 15th Lok Sabha until March 7, 2014. In addition, he was re-elected to the Lok Sabha the same year and joined the BJP party. Next, we have P.C. Mohan. P. Chikamuni Mohan is an Indian politician who is from the Bengaluru Central Constituency. He is a member of the Bharatiya Janata Party and the Parliamentary Committees on External Affairs and Urban Development. He played a crucial role and significantly improved Bengaluru's infrastructure and transportation, including the expansion of Metro Rail in Bengaluru. In March 2024, he was re-elected as the BJP candidate for the Bengaluru Central Constituency, a post which he had been held three times in the past. Next, we have Sandhya Ray. Indian politician Sandhya Ray is a Bharatiya Janata Party member. As a BJP member, she was chosen to serve in the Lok Sabha from Bhind Madhya Pradesh in the 2019 Indian general election. Dilip Sakai, in 2019 Indian general election, Bharatiya Janata Party member Dilip Sakai, an Indian politician, was elected from Mangaldoi, Assam. At the moment, he serves as the BJP's National General Secretary. He is a former state secretary and State Organizing Secretary of Akhil Bharatiya Vidyarthi Parishad AVBP Assam Pradesh. Kumari Selja Kumari Selja is an Indian politician and a member of the Lok Sabha. In addition to being an Indian National Congress member, she was Manmohan Singh's Premiership's Union Minister of State for Social and Justice and Empowerment and Tourism. From 2014-2020, she was a member of the Rajya Sabha. She was elected to the Lok Sabha once more in the general elections of 2024 in India, this time from the Sirsa constituency. A. Raja, Tamil Nadu born politician Andi Mudhu Raja, is the Deputy General Secretary of the Dravida Muntra. Keragam, in addition to being a member of the parliament for the Nilgiris constituency. From 1996 to 2000, he served as the Minister of State for Rural Development. From September 2000 to May 2004, he was the Minister of State for Health and Family Welfare. And from May 2004 to May 2007, he was a Cabinet Minister for the Environment and Forests. In May 2007, he was appointed as the Cabinet Minister for Communication and Information Technology after Dianandi Maran resigned. Raja was re-elected as Nilgiri's MP in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections and was elected Deputy General Secretary of the DMK in September 2020. Dr. Kakoli Ghosh Dastida Indian politician and physician Kakoli Ghosh Dastida comes from West Bengal. The All India Trinamool Congress Women Sector, Banga Janani Bahini, is led by her. In the Indian general election of 2014 and 2019, she was re-elected to the 15th, 16th and 17th Lok Sabha.
She is now a member of the committee on the Home Affairs in Lok Sabha of the Indian Parliament. Krishna Prasad Tenethi Indian politician Krishna Prasad Tenethi was chosen to represent the Bakla Lok Sabha constituency. He belongs to the Telugu Desam Party. He joined the Indian Police Service in 1986 and served in the Andhra Pradesh cadre till 2014, then the Telangana cadre until his retirement in 2014. At the National Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur, he is currently a member of the Board of Governors. Avadis Prasad is an Indian politician who is now representing Faizabad in the Lok Sabha. He was a founding member of the Samajwadi Party. Before he was elected as an MP on June 4, 2024, he served as a member of the Uttar Pradesh Legislative Assembly. He is currently the General Secretary of the SP National Executive. Nine times in 1977, 1985, 1989, 1993, 1996, 2002 and 2007, he was elected as an MLA from the former Sohawal constituency. Most recently in 2012 and 22, he was elected from Milkipur. He has become a minister six times in the government of Uttar Pradesh and has been a cabinet minister in four of them. For more such news and updates, subscribe to Daily Sala Digital.